Hello everyone! Oh wow! And welcome back to our adventures here in the South American mountains of our jungle expedition where we have just given King Anubis a brand new home to roam around in so he no longer will have to sneak into the mountainsides and try to stay out of the way whenever Queen Kalishi has her children. And of course that means that he's going to need some new food, he's going to need some new plants. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into taking care of those things and also, hopefully, pretty soon people will catch on to the fact that he's there and we'll start walking over here because if they don't, we might have to rearrange a little bit about how we have this area set up. Uh, so hopefully everything will work out. But all right, first things first, let's go ahead and give him some nice enrichment items. <gasps> There's a cute little fruit stand guy. Oh my gosh, I love that. Holy cow, we're gonna be using that in the future. Uh, oh, there's all, wow, I have gotten some really cool things in that I haven't looked at yet, so this is quite exciting, uh, but he's going to need a climbing frame, I think. That's actually something he's going to want to use a lot, so I hope this is actually a good climbing frame for him that won't involve him deciding to, like, escape out of here, because I think some of his habitat does need to be terrain, welfare, social... He's got enough space, so that's good. Terrain. Did he have enough climbable stuff before that? Uh, nope, he did not. So let's add that back in. And then there. So he should be able to climb this and be very happy. We'll cover it with trees so that it will blend in a little bit better. Um, and then what else do we need to add in for this guy? He needs like a prey scented sack that he can chase. Yeah, I don't think people can see him. Oh, that's so interesting. We'll have to find a way where people will realize that they can come over on this path and they can admire our wonderful king. Uh, so maybe I might need to move these rocks. We'll have to see. But all right, let's put a prey scented sack down here. And that should help out a little bit. And then he's going to need some food enrichment. So fresh blood pumpkin, maybe? Ooh, a rotation line feeder. Oh, that might look really cool up here. Let's put it on top of that temple. There we go. And so now all he needs is actually some plants in order to make him happy. So let's get the plants down here and let's try to set his area up so that people will come and admire our wonderful king. Because I am pretty tickled by his existence. Uh, ooh, ooh, look at that artificial log structure. Now that might be kind of cool to add on in. Heck, that actually might be really cool to put on top of here. But I want it to look a little more naturalistic. All right, let's see what we've got. Hmm. Ooh, these palms. I love these acacia palms. I'm a huge fan of these. And actually tucking a whole bunch of them. <gasps> Rose was pregnant? You guys, Rose and, and oh, I, I know her mate has an R name. But our hyenas were actually pregnant! I had no idea, they really snuck that past us. We'll have to check out their babies and name their babies after some of you guys in just a second. Uh, but before we do that, let's get a few more plants in here. Frog and snake exhibit. Curses, it doesn't look like our blueprints are going to help us out. <gasps> this jungle walkway, How, why haven't I been using this too? Oh, we're gonna have a good time. Oof, let's add a kapok tree. Oh my gosh, I love these kapok trees. Put one down here. Let it just grow up through. There we go. Oh, look, now they're starting to come over to look. Good. All right. So maybe people just needed a minute to realize that the king was here. Whoops. All right. Let's take off a line to surface for just a second because it's throwing my kapok trees off. There we go. Oh, so glorious. I love when we can just start adding in the plants. And he's like 100% content with the plants we have put in so far, but I absolutely am not. <gasps> Look at those cobras! Heck, are you kidding me? How much is this, 13,000? Oh, I want to decorate with these cobras. That is too epic, you guys! Of course we're going to decorate with these cobras. Are you kidding me? These are awesome! All right, let's move this. Come on, you. I'm going to move this whole thing. This is so awesome. 
Oh my gosh, this is exactly kind of what I wanted for exactly kind of. <laughs> this is exactly up the like alley of what I was thinking about for decorating around his area. Look at how cool that is. Oh, wow. This is why you should definitely double check and see if there's any really cool builds that you want to put in because you never know what you might find. Oh, look at that. And then we can have the cobra kind of like leaning over everybody as they walk over here. Oh, I love that. So cool. Now it's totally dark, but we'll add in some of our beautiful butterflies in just a second. All right. So apparently our wonderful king happens to be around a cobra area, which I kind of love. Oh, and Moss the Llama is maturing. Oh, thank goodness. The more the llamas mature, the better things might go. Okay, yeah. This is this is so fascinating. Because there's like a temple at the back over here. That we can have hidden up in the trees, which would be really cool. Hmm. Let me see if I want to... Yeah, maybe put this over here. Neat. All right, so there's an unexpected cobra area. We might have to put in a small, um, one of the small habitat or the small exhibit areas with some snakes in it now to complement his new zone. And we'll save these snakes for something else in the future. But talk about, ooh, let's put him over here by the bathroom. Why not? We should add in a nice variety. We'll just let these snakes kind of like loom over everybody for a little bit and then figure out where we're going to put them later. Very nicely built. I wish that whoever you got them from, their names like showed up in the game so that you could be able to praise them to the high heavens because this is so cool. I mean, look at that. What a quick and beautiful way to really fill in our king's area. And we can go ahead and actually grab a beautiful butterfly. One of my favorite green butterflies. And then go ahead and align to surface to start lighting the area up, like over here too. There we go. Oh, very nice, very nice. We can even put some of the green butterflies up in the tree, which makes me so happy. You can just rotate it this way, beautiful. All right, and I bet a lot of people are not coming over to our Jaguar area because even though he is amazing, he is a second Jaguar zone. And that's okay. I bet if we brought, if their hunger, their, their tummies will bring them. Even if they won't come just for the sake of the king himself. All right, there we go. Wow, all right, that filled in really fast. Thank you, blueprints. I'm actually quite tickled by that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn the blueprint. Well, is there anything else in here really quickly? Like sometimes you just want just a log. Ooh, wow, <gasps> wow, or sometimes you want a gigantic tropical tree. Heck, that's so cool. Can I put that on the side of the mountain? Oh my word. This is epic! I love this thing. Of course I would, because it's a gigantic tree. But now you guys are about to find this tree showing up like everywhere. <gasps> okay. Apparently today is the day that Siri finds the trees that she has had hiding, tucked away, unknown, inside of her blueprints for who knows how long. I'm kind of in love. All right, there's a Wimba tree. I do like the Wimba trees too. Heck, this is really cool. And that's actually a nice way to fill in some spots on the mountain that I needed to kind of add to. This is a tropical jungle after all, and life is going to be clinging to every surface that it can find. Uh, also, there's apparently some, oh, look at these little tree stump hiders. <gasps> that's so neat. Oh, I love these. These remind me of my little lily pads we made. Gosh, we're gonna have a great time, you guys. And a waterfall? 
Wow. Okay, we are in a bit of a small area, so let's not get too too overexcited. I'm going to turn off the blueprints for just a minute. There we go. Let's put down a few things. And maybe if we have more baby jaguars over here, people will be excited. So we might put in another female jaguar over here to get more of those melanistic genes input. And put down a few more acacia trees. Just really beautiful. Oh, I love it. All right, there you go, old man. He seems to be a lot more active now, too, so... I think he likes all the trees. There we go. He'll probably actually complain pretty soon. Oh, he's gonna need water. That's what he's gonna need. So, let's put... Uh, instead of putting in, like, some actual water, I'm gonna give him a fountain. Let me see if I can find... Where's that water? There we go, water station. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna give him a fountain like down here and we'll say that it's actually drinking from you know drinking from that waterfall wow you guys oh this is an absolute fantastic transformation i love it i really love it i think we'll we'll sprinkle a few more things in here some like broken trees because why not the brazil nuts are awesome Again, this is the jungle, and there's going to be competition and excitement for everything to grow. There's custard apples we can add in at the bottom. Very nice. And yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I bet people aren't coming over here because they're like, there's a jaguar with cubs on the other side. Why would I come and see just a jaguar? Because you people are silly and you don't appreciate the wildlife enough. Uh, but we will put down some things to attract people's attention pretty soon. Uh, and I do like the idea. Coconut palm. Oh, this is just wonderful. <gasps> Bliss is about to have another baby! Oh my gosh! Bliss! Oh! She's so old, but she already just had another baby. She already has aunt. An aunt... His parents are Termite, and... Oh, Termite! What's the matter? He's injured. Have you been fighting, Ant? Ant! Okay, I'm gonna put Ant in the Trade Center if he's been fighting. Poor Termite. I didn't know that he was injured. Maybe he was getting in a fight. Uh-oh. Dangerous Ant. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Alright. Gotta work on that. Yeah, that's actually kind of not good. Uh, oh, in a facility... Oh, my good gravy. That's not good either. This is like emergency mechanic time. Do I have enough llamas to get a new emergency mechanic? This is kind of a bad deal. <laughs> All right, we've got 17 llamas right now. I have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 people. So I can go ahead. We're going to hire a new mechanic. <laughs> Pretty important. All right, and I would actually like to welcome in another one of our fantastic patrons as this mechanic. This is going to be Jean. Thank you so much for your support, Jean. It's becoming more and more important to be able to have that little bit of extra support to help keep our pixel biology adventures going. I don't want to dwell on the rough and toughness that uh, everything that's going on in the world has kind of resulted in for our YouTube adventures. But without our wonderful, hmm, what are we going to call her? Without our wonderful, we have Mountain Climber already. Jean, what are you going to be doing, my dear? I think, oh, I know, Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter Jean, who is like dashing around the place. Because we have enough llamas, thank goodness. But Treasure Hunter Jean, who is actually going to be... Searching for treasure amongst all I mean look the, the the paths are literally made out of gold So she's searching for treasure here. I love that idea Also, let's go ahead and add in a few more rocks Over to this side Just so a certain someone doesn't get any ideas And jump straight into the llama pen because that wouldn't be that wouldn't be quite so good, sir Just saying all right, there we go. 
Excellent. Nice thick wall. Man, I love the look of those mossy rocks. They're just so cool. All right, hopefully that will take care of that. Meanwhile, Butterfly has a disease, so she's going to actually need the vet to come and take care of her. And the llama pin is struggling because there's so much poop and that is causing diseases. Uh, all right, we're gonna need to take care of that too. Hmm, which means probably more llama keepers, which ironically, in fact, where are all of our keepers? Okay, we have a lot of keepers. Bethany, I think we need to make Bethany, okay, and biologist explorer will just be assigned to llama pin as well. Let's get two top people just working constantly on the llama pin. And wildlife photographer will have you work on the llama pin for a while too. There we go. Hopefully with three people dedicated to scooping llama poop, we will make progress. But all right, and I do want to actually, I don't know how we're gonna do this because we're gonna need to adopt yet another llama, which means we might need to expand the llama area yet again. Um, but I do want to get a vendor in here to sell. The guests are really thirsty. So we're actually gonna have a vendor come over here and I wanna actually have a whole section under this gigantic, beautiful tree that I am now officially immensely in love with. But I wanna have, oh dear, I'm gonna have to remove some of this path. Oh, this is gonna be a little painful. Oof, oof, I say. There we go. But it needed to be done so that we could make, oops, so that we could make this cave. Push this in a little. Oh man, I hate it when the path does this. All right, there we go, there we go. Excellent, excellent. I'm gonna push this in just a little bit more. Let's actually have, hmm, because I feel like this needs to be special. The, the golden nectar will have a place to get some drinks called the golden nectar. And it is an ancient recipe of unknown origin. line this up as much as possible but this is an ancient recipe of unknown origin that is extremely refreshing and seems to replenish health in in people who need it and it is why they come to eat from the fruits of this tree of course it is golden nectar from the fruits of this tree yes and our llamas are mating maybe i can actually hire the uh, vendor that i want to put down here as a result all right, let's see, blueprints. I just need like a little temple area. Ooh, ooh, it's a planet zoo temple bin. I like it. To put over, does it have a bin inside? I don't know. It can cover the recycling bins. I gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha. All right, so we need to put, hmm, here's a temple set. Do I want to draw from these, actually? These are pretty cool. But they're not quite the design we're going for. There's another temple. You know what? I think we'll just go ahead and continue to put down the style that we've been using. Because it's very easy to modify this puppy. There we go. And we can modify it quite a bit to be able to fit what we need. So let's put this right here for a second. I'll come back to you. And we're gonna need to add in another llama. Let me do a double check on our llamas real quick. Are you dead or sleeping? That's Haro, our albino, and he's sleeping. A facility is having a, oh dear. The water treatment plant, huh? Why out of the blue? Interesting. There. How's that for negative impact? Oh, oh, it's this. There we go. Whew. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of quite a few things. <laughs> All right, so let's count the llamas again really quickly. How are we doing? 17 llamas and staff, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So if we add in another shop, I'm gonna need another llama. <laughs> This is getting a little out of hand. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, and then we need to buy some more, or we need to find <clears throat> on an expedition some more capuchin monkeys. The llamas are the only ones that we can buy just because we can. Um, 
Do I want a higher quality male llama from the temple zoo? I think I just want a young llama. And we're just going to get... I don't have enough storage space! Ah! Oh no! Alright, Princess Ruby, Zoki. Ah, let's release Zoki to the wild. There we go. And I'm going to have to go through and clear out some other animals in order to get enough storage space for our, our Colombian white-faced monkeys, I think. Um, and we'll just go ahead and adopt this guy. Alright, let's add him in. And that means we can put in a vendor, thank freaking goodness, for the golden nectar drink that will hopefully attract many a guest over here. So we're going to put in a guest facility. We're going to have to definitely make sure that they don't make a huge mess back here. And let me make sure. Yeah, okay. We're going to want a drink facility. Yeah, I don't see anything that impresses me. Hmm. That snow cave! That's so cool! Oh, we should go on another, like, season two to the Arctic Zone. Don't you guys think? That would be really fun. A little fruit shack? <gasps> oh, I love it! The freshest fruit for your animals and you. Oh, that's actually really cute. Should I do a fruit shack? Tempting, but I think we'll go with the, the temple design. And we're going to put down milkshake, juice, smoothies. We're going to do smoothies this time. And we might even do two, but for now we'll just put down this first shop. There we go. There we are! Alright! And uh, why are you leaving? Why are you leaving, Vendor? Like, do you work for us now? Or are you just like, I wasn't really hired, so I'm just gonna leave here? Oh, there's no- I bet there's no power over here. Heck! Dude! Alright, you're fired then. And we'll, we'll hire someone else soon. Alright, and I just fired him so I don't I lose him. Okay, there we go. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have fired him. I feel bad now! Alright, so this is going to be the Golden Nectar... Uh, golden Nectar Fruit Stand. There we go. And we need to get another... I can't believe why- shouldn't that solar panel be working? Operational. Power. No power. <gasps> because it's not in the sun? Are you kidding me? Alright. If I move it- If I move it over a little, will it be in the sun? Is that good enough? Is it open now? That is so funny! We had a little bit of an overhang. Oh, I feel really bad that I fired that guy now. <laughs> but we're gonna hire a new vendor, and this is actually going to be vendor. Oh, Backlog! Hey, cool! Alright, Backlog's one of our Animal Crossing experts, and he is now going to help sell some fantastic golden juice, some golden fruit that will hopefully keep everything going. Hey, our Backlog. Welcome. I will train you ASAP. So this is going to be, um, hmm, what should we name you? A fruit expert. Because <laughs> you are an expert on the Animal Crossing fruits and the Slime Rancher stuff too. Fruit expert backlog. So maybe fruit connoisseur? Fruit, how do you spell connoisseur? Connoisseur, there we go. Wow, that's a complicated word, all right. I bet it's French. I always misspell French words. It's a running a running beef that Chips knows I have. <laughs> All right, and then let's add to the work zone of the llama pen, this place. There we go. And maybe this place too. All right, no, 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 we shouldn't add to that place or else he's gonna go all the way over there to try to do some working. That's not what I want. There we go. Um, however, is the llama, yeah, the llama pin includes good, so a good rust spot. Excellent. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, backlog. I hope you are prepared. I don't think anyone is. Like, there is quite the lineup. Now we might actually have people look at our Jaguar because it seems people are ready to get some of this golden fruit. Holy heck. 
this is about to get to be a very popular area and we're gonna have to work on tidying it up next time because <laughs> we're already out of time but heck all right guys we have really transformed this zone i am immensely tickled with what we have accomplished uh adding in everything that we did this is going to be so much fun as we continue to modify it as we continue to add to it we already have a whole bunch of really amazing really fantastic looking new trees like look at these trees i love them and we could just leave butterflies hanging out in them this is amazing and backlog you're immensely popular like instantly hopefully we'll be able to help you out with that buddy but all right guys thank you so much for joining me if you could do please leave a like to get a delicious glass of whatever this fantastic fruit the golden nectar fruit happens to be and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye